Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got sunshine. It's going to be, I think, about 77 degrees outside. Happy about that. Just celebrated my 55th birthday and my tabby cat radar. He celebrated his 14th birthday. So let's have a little conversation here about what's going on. Got a couple of short poems I want to share with you. And then just a little chit chat about some of the things that I've been working on. So I've been f trying to figure out where I want to go once I put this house up for sale and hopefully it'll sell and just get out of this country for a while and have some different experiences. And with having two older cats, I have to be cognizant of that, right? So Mexico, I think, is probably going to be my choice and I'm looking into Mazatlan and I'm not really a beach person but that's probably because I've never lived by the beach I do like it I do enjoy it and I would like to be in an area where there's more things going on and it's a pretty good sized city and they don't get as hot and humid as some of the other beach communities in Mexico and the cool thing, because we live in the United States, for those of us that do, you can drive down there and you can actually pay somebody to, you know, drive you down there and um, that sort of thing. So I think that might be my choice. That might be a little bit easier instead of trying to fly with my cats right now. And one of the things with Mexico, though, is you have to go to a consulate here in the uh, country that you reside in. So that means for me, the U.S., and you have to apply for your temporary residency permit. So I've got to figure all of that stuff out. I do follow a really good channel. Um, it's called Mexico Relocation Guide. I think her name is um, Maria or Mariana or something like that. She's got a really good channel. She's got a guide you can buy. She's got a really cool website. Lots of free resources on there and things like that. But that's just something that I'm looking further into just to, you know, try and make that as easy as possible right now. Get me some place where I can just kind of step outside of my comfort zone, have some new experiences, experience a different culture and live like a local. So that's what I'm doing there. Now, other things that are going on. So I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take this as financial advice, obviously. But some of you know that I do have uh, accounts with Fidelity. I also do have some stock with my um, SoFi banking because they do investing as well. And then I recently just opened up a Webull account. Now, the reason I did that is because you can not only do fractional share investing, you can actually set it up to do so many dollars per trading day, which is really, really nice. And Fidelity does not offer that. I think they offer, I think it's weekly. I think that's about as far down as they go. So I have that. Now I did try the web-based um, application for Webull and I just didn't really care for it. Their app is actually better. So I do have the app on my phone and then I just take money out of my savings account, put it into my Webull account and then have it invest um, so many dollars per trading day. So what I'm doing right now is $25. That might seem like a lot to a lot of people, um, but it's, you know, it's really not based off of, you know, what I make and what I save and versus putting that in a savings account. Yes, I have a high yield savings account with SoFi. It's at 4.6%, but this is investing. And so I do all, except for SoFi, I do have some stock with them. All of my other investments are all um, ETFs. So I have a lot of shares with SCHD, Infidelity, and also in my Webull app. And then the other cool thing about Webull is you can open up an IRA and they will match up to 3.5%. And that's actually super, super cool. So I will put the link for Webull in the description box below. So if you're interested in taking a look at that, you can do so. And for those of you that don't invest or you're afraid to do it or anything like that, 
I didn't know anything about it a few years ago. I just started watching YouTube videos and taking lots of notes, gleaning lots of information and doing my research and figuring out, you know, where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. And I've actually been doing pretty good with that, with my dividend investing and my ETFs and things. And um, it's actually a lot of fun. And I don't manage the hell out of it. I mean, I put things in and then I just you know, watch it periodically, see what it's doing and how it's performing and things like that. But I reinvest all of my dividends and then that just goes back towards buying more stock in whatever, you know, I have. Um, I do have some QQQY. I do have Jeppy. I do have JEPQ. I have, I think, um, Buckle, but that one performs actually really well. I have DGRO. I have NRG, which has... Um, gone up i think since i first bought the stock i think that's gone up like a thousand percent or something like that it's crazy it's more than double the stock price is more than double right now versus what i paid for it when i initially bought some um, for that company so that's really cool and i keep track of it on a um, dividend tracker um, website you can do it for free you can also buy their paid version stuff in there to get more access to things but the free one is actually really cool so I'll put a link for that in the description box below. It's not sponsored or anything like that, but just in case you're interested. But the cool thing about Webull is, you know, you can invest a, a dollar a day for each trading day. And I think most of us can afford that. And that equates to, you know, 30, not $30 a month, but, you know, five times five, if you've got four weeks, that's $25 a month. So give or take a couple of dollars here and there. But if you start somewhere, right, that's going to be better than where you're at right now. And that's kind of how I look at it. And it's things that, of course, I have regrets over. I wish I would have done this years ago. I could probably retire by now, um, but that's not the case. And then a couple of other things that I'm going to be working on is um, setting up a coaching website um, to be able to um, start my coaching business with helping people and I'm not quite sure the direction I'm going to go in with that yet But that's just something that's on my radar. I've got a lot of things um, Written down for you know ideas and thoughts and stuff that I want to do with that And it just takes time and obviously I work on a computer Eight hours a day five days a week and so at the end of the day I'm just done with being on the computer and um, I know if I want to get someplace, I'm going to have to push past that. I'm just going to have to put in the time and the effort and the energy. So anyways, what's going on with everybody out there? What are you guys doing? Um, how's everything going for you? Anything interesting? Any, any books you want to share with people? And um, anything else? Um, stuff you're investing in? How are your investments doing? Are you new to investing? Do you want to um, get some further help on that? Let me know in the comments because I can just give you some YouTube um, names of people that are, I think, really well versed in that. And they don't blow smoke up your ass either. They're, they're really honest with what they're doing and they share a lot of their information and uh, they're very forthright with that, which I really, really enjoy. And so that's going on. Um, it's going to be April 1st here, and uh, we're, we're in spring right now, obviously. We've got the weather fluctuations going up and going down. Well, I know a lot of us do um, have that. But yeah, so continuing on with my decluttering, that's going really, really well. I've, I've cleaned out some more stuff, and um, I got my foundation fixed. So that's good to go, and um, that was expensive. That was um, $6,300 or something like that. But that's done. That's ready to go. So had to have that done so I can put the house on the market. Anyways, here are just, I've had these for a long time. And they're just very specific to me personally um, for, for how I feel and how I see things. And some of you out there might like them as well. So the first one is um, by somebody by the name of Wilford Peterson. And um, I don't even know where I got this, but I just typed it up on a piece of paper and printed it out off of the internet years ago. Walk with the dreamers, the believers, the courageous, the cheerful, the planners, the doers, the successful people with their head 
in the clouds and their feet on the ground. Let their spirit ignite a fire within you. So there's that one. Now this next one I have, I don't really know who the author is, but it's something that I've probably had since around 2007 when I got my first motorcycle. The war you feel within that relent restlessness, the unending certainty is not to be dismissed, avoided, hated. That internal conflict is not dark. It is a beaming light trying to focus you. The rolling thunderous call of courage, the rays of greatness seeking to explode beyond your skin to touch once more the spirit of possibility. Now, the reason I like this poem and I haven't been living by that for years. I've been pretty much just letting life pass me by. And um, I think a lot of us feel that way. We're stuck in this rat race. We're stuck in this unending cycle of, you know, uh, in this country, in the U.S. especially, and there's other countries around the world, particularly the West, what we call the Western countries, right? The government's bullshit and all of that stuff. And we want to break free. We just want to be unique individuals and do our own thing and not be burdened down with getting overtaxed, overregulated, you can't do this, you can't do that, and just seeing all of the nastiness around us, and I try to disengage from as much of that as I possibly can, because that keeps my level of happiness at a much higher wavelength versus getting inundated with that stuff, right? That's why I don't have cable TV. I don't watch the news. Yes, I do know what's going on in the world because there are certain people I do follow on YouTube occasionally. So I'm not clueless as to what's going on in the world, but I've let my focus be out of focus for too many years. And it took me to getting to, um, <laughs> you know, past midlife and um, having certain things happen that I have just said enough is enough and this is why I'm doing what I'm doing and we all have the power within us to do what we want with our lives it doesn't matter where you're at right now if you're not making a lot of money we all have the power to change what we're doing okay in my opinion for most of us, there's no such thing as oppression, okay? I didn't have a good childhood, and I grew up very poor. And I have, in my opinion, made a pretty good success of my life. I mean, financially and with my career and things like that. And I'm smart enough to know that I can change my direction. And I just have to put forth the effort to do it because it's not just going to magically happen. So I don't, I don't feel for myself personally. Now, this is just me personally, but I don't, I don't do the, oh, woe is me and the, oh, pity me and this and that and the other thing. And, you know, you're more privileged and, and blah, blah, blah. That to me, that's all just nonsense. That's just people's excuses. You know, if I don't get something done, it is not somebody else's fault. It is my fault. It is my problem. I take full responsibility for that stuff. So if I don't start my own business and I don't get to where I want to go, it's not somebody else's fault. It's my fault, right? I'm the one that can propel this forward. I'm the one that can change my trajectory of where I want to go in my life. And, you know, if you own your house and you want to live there for the rest of your life and that's what you want, hey, that's totally cool. For me, just because I've always been a wanderer, I'm like a gypsy in that aspect you know, me having a house is just not working for me anymore because I feel like I'm chained down to it and I want to get out from that. That's why I'm going to put my house on the market and I'm going to sell it. And I want to go and have more experiences. I'm done with all the material stuff. You guys all know that about me. And um, I did buy one thing for my birthday though. Oh my God. And it was a piece of clothing. And um, so I broke my rule, but it was my birthday present to myself. It was $7.00. And it was just a new package of socks from TJ Maxx because I needed some socks. My other ones were getting a little worn, okay, and I needed some new socks. So that was my treat to myself on my birthday, besides a latte. Um, so anyways, everything else is going good in that arena. And I hope that any of you out there that have put comments on my other videos about your no-buy, how's that going? Let me know in the comments. Let's get some conversations going. What do you have? Any ideas for businesses, things, thoughts, directions you want to go to? 
And um, I do have my Buy Me a Coffee page. I'll put that link below as well. I did have my private club. And of course, you know, the, the personal disasters struck um, at the end of January. And that just completely threw me off for that. So I did remove that. But I am going to do a coaching thing. And this is going to be a community for us to get together and work on these ideas, bounce ideas off of each other on, you know, what are we doing for giving ourselves more money in our lives, right? With investing or saving, cutting back on things. And then also our ideas for starting businesses. And also if anybody out there is just done with where they're at, especially in the U S and you just want to go and have a new adventure, if you're thinking that you might want to do Mexico too, let me know. Let's have some conversations about that. And, you know, the statistics are out there. Anybody can go and look at those statistics. It is safer in Mexico than it is in this country right now. Okay. Yes, there are going to be a few states because remember, Mexico has states just like we do in this country. There's going to be a few states that you really just don't want to go hang out in in Mexico but there's really nothing there in those places anyways. But Mexico City is safe. Guadalajara is safe. Mazatlan. I've seen numerous people um, on YouTube that either live down there or they've gone down there for you know a short period of time, 180 days or whatever, and they have not had problems. And this is not just men or couples. It's also single women. So you just have to Go and do your research on the statistics. And of course, we all know with Mexico, it's the cartels and they don't have anything to do with you as, you know, a tourist coming in. It doesn't matter which country you're from. If you're not into cartel stuff, then they're going to leave you alone. Okay. That's kind of how it goes. It's almost like the mafia thing, right? They're just, they don't mess with normal, regular people. They have their own things going on. <clears throat> and there's a lot of really cool things in Mexico and Mexico has such wonderful people. And, um, I, I've not been to Mexico, but I know a lot of people from Mexico through my years of, you know, just working in specific industries. And they're some of the coolest people you will ever come across. They're very warm and friendly family oriented people. And they don't have their heads up their ass like a lot of us Americans do. And that's just a fact of life. Okay. There's a lot of people in this country that are like that. There's a lot of people that aren't. And um, I've never really had my head up my ass and thought that this was the greatest country on earth. And I'm not saying it's a bad country, but I want to go and have more experiences. And I want to experience other cultures and immerse myself in the beauty of those other cultures. So for me right now, I think that's the place I'm going to go just because I can drive down there, take my cats, drive across the border and go into the country and, um, and live there for a while. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and wherever you're at in the world, Hang in there. We got this. Remember, there is always a way out and there's always going to be sunshine, even though it seems that we are in dark times. Okay. We have the power to be sovereign individuals and live our lives free and with meaning and with beauty. So with that, I am going to sign off. I'm going to go enjoy my day and we will talk soon. All right. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so already, give this video a big thumbs up and I will put all those links in the description box below that I talked about today. So there you have it. We'll talk soon. Take care. Bye.